I'm up to here with it. The people of North Birmingham have known for decades that they have poison in their soil and air. What they haven't been able to figure out is how to get something done about it. Right now, it is a Superfund emergency situation. Now, when Superfund, this is the federal government, says it's an emergency situation, that means everybody should be standing up saying, holy moly, we're going to get sick. I mean, that's how severe it is. Lois Gibbs can relate. Her community in upstate New York was devastated by industrial pollution. She formed the Center for Health and Environmental Justice. She says the key is to force government to do its job. Everyone in this community has a right to clean air, has a right to a healthy environment, has a right to healthy families, has a right not to have all their family members die of cancer. And the only way they're going to do it is to come out tonight and in the future meetings and stand together and, and demand what they need. Lois Gibbs says this will not be a quick affair. It may take 5, 10, 20 years for the cleanup to take place. And in the meantime, the best advice for North Birmingham residents may be to try to get out. I think people need to be temporarily relocated who have these yards that are so contaminated, that are gardening in their yards where they have small children. What are they supposed to do with their children? It's been over 30 years since the Love Canal disaster. But Lois Gibbs has seen it play out over and over again across America. She says North Birmingham can win the fight, but the battle will be long and challenging. In North Birmingham, Ken Lass, CBS 42 News. CBS 42 continues to lead the way in North Birmingham environmental concerns. To see our award-winning investigative reports, head to CBS42.com and look for deadly deception under the features tab and let your voice be heard.